In this video, we're going to look at the solution to these two rational equations. So let's get into the first one. So notice uh, we can write the right hand side as x plus 5 over 1, which gives us some motivation to cross multiply. And we're only able to do that because we have a single fraction on the left hand side and a single fraction on the right hand side. So let's see what we get. That's going to give us 2x plus 17 equals x plus 1 times x plus 5. Because in this case, we just multiplied the orange 1 up, which doesn't change anything. So next, we're going to FOIL out the right hand side. So that's going to give us x squared plus x plus 5x. So that's plus 6x plus 5. And that's equal to 2x plus 17 on the left hand side. Now the next thing that we're going to do is move the 2x and the 17 um, from the left hand side to the right hand side. So that's going to give us 0 equals x squared plus 4x. Good. And then we have 5 minus 17 which is negative 12. Okay, good. And now we'd probably like to factor that. So uh, notice we want two numbers and they're going to multiply together to get negative 12 and add together to get positive 4. So notice that's the same thing as x plus 6, x minus 2 equals 0. So those numbers fit the bill. And now notice we get solutions, x equals negative 6 or x equals positive 2. Now the next thing that we want to do is look at these solutions and make sure they make sense in the original equation. And what would make them not make sense is if you got a zero in the denominator after plugging them in. But these are okay in the original equation, so we're good. We can keep both of them, and these are our two solutions. Okay, good. So now let's go on to this next one, which is a, another rational equation, but in this case we have an absolute value. So the absolute value is going to split this one equation into two equations as follows. So we have 2t over 4 minus t squared equals 2 over t minus 2, or we have 2t over 4 minus t squared equals negative 2 over t minus 2. Great. So we're using uh, the property here, which I'll just um, write down that if you have the absolute value of a equals the absolute value of b, then that means a equals plus or minus b. So that's the property that we're using here to split this into these two equations. And now we're going to use the same trick that we used before, which is this cross multiplication. Good. So now let's work on the left hand side first and then we'll do the right hand side also. So this is going to give us 2t times t minus 2 um, equals 2 times 4 minus t squared. Okay, great. So this is going to give us 2t squared minus 4t equals... Sorry, I got ahead of myself and I distributed a little bit. Here we have 2 times 4 minus t squared. So that's going to give us 8 minus 2t squared. Okay, great. And now the next thing that we'll do is um, maybe move everything from this side of the equation to this side of the equation. So let's add 2t squared and subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. So that's going to give us 4t squared. Great. Uh, minus 4t minus 8 equals 0. So that's what we get in the end. But now notice we can factor a 4 out of this. So we have 4 and then we have t squared minus t minus 2 equals 0. And now we can factor that. We want two numbers that multiply to negative 2 and add to negative 1. So that's going to give us uh, t minus 2, t plus 1 equals 0. So that means t equals 2 or t equals negative 1. So now we're going to go up to the original equation and see if um, both of those make sense. So if we plug in negative 1, the denominators are okay. They do not become 0. But if we plug in 2, we get a 0 in the denominator here and here. So that's an extraneous solution. So that means we'll keep that one, t equals negative 1. Okay, good. So now let's move on to the next one. So let's cross multiply again. So we'll have 2t 
t minus 2 equals negative 2, 4 minus t squared. So distributing, we get 2t squared minus 4t equals negative 8 plus 2t squared. Okay, good. But now notice we can uh, subtract a 2t squared from both sides, and that's going to cancel, leaving us with minus 4t equals minus 8. Good. Now we can divide by negative 4, and that gives us t equals 2. But again, that t equals 2 is as extraneous just like this one is, so that means we can throw that one out, leaving us with a single solution, t equals minus 1, and we're done.